What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. Before we crack on with the video, just wanted to say that if you could subscribe, notifications on. I'm expecting some big news over the next couple of days with regards to Jorginho and Riyad Mahrez. So if you want to be kept up with all the latest and exclusives, then make sure that you have subscribed and I'll keep you all up to date as quickly as possible. With all that being said and done, we're going to crack on with the videos. I've not got any ins, I'm just going to start off with a little bit uh, it's it's no news really, but I'm just waiting to see if Jorginho is going to be coming to Manchester today. So we're expecting Jorginho was reported on Radio Kiss Kiss. If you remember that he would be having his medical on Thursday. Well, here we are. It is Thursday, so we're waiting to see if Jorginho turns up within the next few hours. If he does, then I'll be obviously tweeting about it, retweeting the sources and everything. So if you are interested in that Jorginho deal, particularly over the next 24 hours until I do my video this this time tomorrow, then make sure that you check me out on Twitter and I'll keep you all up to date with that one. It'll be interesting to see if Radio Kiss Kiss have got their sources right. Radio Kiss Kiss obviously being the source over in Naples. Now we're going to move on with the outs. We've had some out news. Uh, first up, we've already had the news confirmed that Jacob Davenport has joined Blackburn Rovers. I was waiting to see uh, what kind of deal had been disclosed because obviously it was undisclosed by the club. But Lancashire Telegraph, which is a Blackburn source, have said that it's a six-figure sum. So we don't have an exact fee. It's anywhere between £100,000 and £999,000 and 99 pence so obviously it's a six figure fee which means that it's less than a million pounds but man city have put a sell-on fee there which means that if blackburn do end up selling him within there any time during his four-year contract at blackburn rovers or more if he ends up signing a new contract manchester city will have a sell-on fee so they'll get a percentage of his next transfer next up we've got more confirmed news city youngster uh, Edward Francis, 18 years old, is a centre-back. He has joined Almira City in the Netherlands on a season-long loan. So I wanted to wish Edward all the best with his uh, season-long loan. Good luck. Hope you go and enjoy it and go and crack the Netherlands. Uh, Thierry Ambrose, got more news on him. Thierry Ambrose, he's unlikely to join Bordeaux um, as the Malcolm transfer is still being delayed from Bordeaux to Inter. It takes a lot of time. Reminds me a lot of the Jorginho deal and as it's getting delayed, it makes the Thierry Ambrose to Bordeaux more and more complicated. I presume we're talking about a permanent deal here. Apparently, other Liga 1 clubs and Championship clubs over in, the, uh, in England as well, they're also after him. We'll have to wait and see what kind of move Manchester City have for Thierry Ambrose, but apparently he is a wanted man. Will it be a permanent? Will it be a loan move? Let me know in the comments if you think Manchester City should loan him for another season, or do you think he should sell Thierry Ambrose, obviously, the young Manchester City striker? And last but not least in the news, we've got another player called Luke Bratton. You've probably never heard of him, but we signed him a few seasons back. He'd been signed predominantly so he could go to Australia and go and play for Melbourne City for three consecutive seasons now, including this season. He's going to go out to Melbourne City over in Australia and play for them on loan. I don't understand why we don't just uh, sell him with no fee and just send him out there. I presume it's a wage issue and Manchester City are paying his wage. But we are very nice to Melbourne City. So, you know, if Man City are after Arzani, then, you know, maybe things might get going there. We'll have to wait and see. Again, I've got no news on Arzani, actually. He was over in the United Kingdom with his agent before flying back out to Australia. I don't know if he's flown back out to Australia or not. I'll go and have a check up on that and I'll maybe let you know in tomorrow's video if there are more news. So if you're interested, make sure that you have subscribed with notifications on. If you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. I'll see you all again tomorrow. Don't forget to check out my Twitter, by the way, for the Jorginho updates and Mahrez. We're expecting a Mahrez medical at some point, maybe even tomorrow. So make sure that you are kept up to date. So make sure you follow me on Twitter. I'll keep you all up to date with the latest things, Manchester City and all the sources. My Instagram, if you're interested, is also in the uh, link description below. The link's there. If you're interested, you can go check out what I'm up to outside of YouTube. Got a lot coming up in the next three weeks or so, so worthwhile checking. If you are interested, good checking out what I am doing. I'll also leave my email in there if anyone's got any business inquiries. I'll leave my partner channel, Mixid, do mixology drinks, and my second channel, JSGC Gaming. Links to them will be popping up at the end of the video. If you are interested, you can go and check them out. Like and subscribe. Go check out my other video. Check out yesterday's transfer update. Check out all my other videos too. There's plenty in there. There's travel vlogs. There's football vlogs. There's football stuff. <laughs> There's lots of stuff on my channel, so you can go check out if you, all, if you all wish. And I'll see you all again tomorrow, so there we go. It's been JSGC. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your Thursday. Hopefully, we'll have a new title tomorrow with Jorginho Medical. Fingers crossed we want the light at the end of the tunnel anyway. Don't forget to leave in the comments what you think, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace. Ciao for now.